How to pierce a balloon without it popping. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. This is an amazing science experiment that will astound your friends. Usually when you prick a balloon, it goes pop. But David from Science Boffins is going to show us how this is not always true. Step 1. You will need the following apparatus. A balloon, a skewer or needle. You might also need some petroleum jelly. Step 2. Aim. The aim of this experiment is to pierce the skin of a balloon without it popping. Step 3. Method. Stretch the balloon with your fingers to make it easier to blow into. Then blow steadily into the balloon. Top tip. Don't blow it up to its full size and the experiment will be easier to perform. Tying the balloon can be a bit fiddly. One way is to wrap it around your finger first, then tuck the end through the hole. If you're having difficulty blowing or tying the balloon, ask an adult to help you. You have to pierce the balloon on the top at the spot where the colour is darkest. This is where it's less stretched. Put some petroleum jelly on the end of the needle before you push it through. This reduces friction when the needle pierces the balloon's surface. Push the skewer through the top of the balloon first, then out of the neck. Step 4. Conclusion. Why did this happen? Balloons are made up of lots of chains, called polymer chains, that are so small they are invisible to the naked eye. On the sides of the balloon, these polymer chains were stretched to their limit, but at the neck of the balloon the polymers were much less stretched, so when pierced there was enough room to allow the needle in between the chains without breaking them. If you tried this on the side of the balloon, the piercing would be too much for the stretched polymer chains, and they would pop. Experiment complete.